You already know this is Pun John Boxing, aka Mr. Moo. Woo shot himself. Ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful day today. New York City, phase two, reopening up. Oh, everybody get back to work, god damn it. Everybody can get back to work, damn it. The only bad thing about this, man, that you're gonna be having some morning traffic, man. That's the only thing that, that was actually positive about this coronavirus, you know what I'm saying? There was no traffic, no nothing, but damn. Anyway, 300,000 estimated to go back to work. Diamond, go get, get your ass to work. Um, Bob Arum, old crusty A's, going to tell in a recent interview that Manny Pacquiao needs Bud Crawford for a pay-per-view attraction. <laughs> Bob, shut the fuck up. What the hell you mean that Manny Pacquiao needs, excuse my language, I'm sorry, that Manny Pacquiao needs Bud Crawford for a pay-per-view? Manny Pacquiao don't need no damn body. Manny Pacquiao don't need no Bud Crawford. Manny Pacquiao don't need no Keith Thurman. Manny Pacquiao don't need no Earl Spence. Manny Pacquiao don't need no Danny Sub Garcia. Manny Pacquiao don't need no Mike Garcia. Manny Pacquiao don't need no Ugas. Manny Pacquiao don't need nobody. Just keep it real, Bobby. Bobby, a.k.a. Dinosaur, a.k.a. Jurassic Park, a.k.a. I got five more years to live. Bobby, you need Manny Pacquiao, okay? You need Manny Pacquiao so you could look good in giving Bud Crawford a pay-per-view attraction. You need Manny Pacquiao because we already know. I love I love Terrence Crawford, but Terrence Crawford can't sell a lick. Okay, so for you to look good, you need Manny Pacquiao. Okay, because maybe a Ugas and a Book Crawford, which they talking about, it could be a next fight, probably will fail. Just like Buck Crawford and Amir Khan. They ain't even going 100K. So Bob Arum, it's not that Manny Pacquiao needs Buck Crawford. Who do you think? Bob, you know, you're a prestige trainer. I mean, you're a prestige um, promoter in the sport of boxing. Probably the best promoter that has ever lived in the sport of boxing. Promote, but don't try to insult our intelligence. Come on, Bobby. Bobby, don't try to insult our intelligence now. Who you think you talking to? We hardcore boxing fans out here. You think we're dummies? Manny Pacquiao don't need no, no, need no damn Buck Crawford to sell a pay-per-view. Manny Pacquiao could get somebody in Central Park from the, from the hot dog stand and sell a pay-per-view. We talking about Manny Pacquiao here. We talking about the guy that you wish was still with top rank. But you dropped the ball thinking that Jeff Horn was going to be your next international star. And the corruption happened, but I ain't going to say your name, but we all know what it is. Jeff Horn fell through. You thought that was going to be your next international star. See, Bobby needs an international star. He needs... A dancing partner for Buck Crawford. And he can't have no more letdowns. Because probably he's paying Buck Crawford a lot of money. And it just ain't cutting it. The profits ain't coming in. He ain't even breaking even. I'm just saying. Now, a Ugas versus Buck Crawford. That sounds good. We already know who Dinus Ugas did be, did be Bill Crawford and the amateurs. And I know amateurs and professionals all is, is, is different, but Ugas is a, is one of the top Walter Waits of the world as well. Never won a title, but he's a top dog and a respectable one. And he's a seasoned Walter Wait. Great, good, good Cuban fighter that, in my opinion, did actually be Sean Porter. Great win versus undefeated Omar Figueroa. I really didn't want, I wanted to see Ugas versus Danny Sobo Garcia this past January rather than having separate events. Now, 
know Heyman. I want to know. I know. I want to know what he's going to do with Ugas if he can't get him a big fight because he can't get him the Earl Spence fight. He he can't get him that Keith Thurman fight. But if they talking about Bud Crawford and Ugas and Daniel Silva Garcia and Earl Spence. I don't know that Mikey Garcia and Manny Pacquiao is gonna fall through, but what is out there for Keith for for uh, um, Manny Pacquiao? Maybe a rematch, Keith Thurman. Maybe they or maybe, like I said a long time ago, Porter and Keith was always a good rematch. It was inevitable. But I used to say, I, I mean, I, I said before that. Whenever Porter and Keith Thurman gets back in the ring, that will be in their back pocket, meaning their back pocket when they would have lost in their respected next fight. Well, Sean Porter lost, Keith Thurman lost, and now they still got a huge fight, which I believe could be a pay-per-view fight. Maybe. It could be. But these guys got to stay in the limelight, man. They do a horrible job, man. They got to use their platform. Keith Thurman does a horrible job in social media and get himself out there. Sean Porter does a horrible job. There's no wonder that. And, 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 um, and Ugas is too much of a nice guy. He don't talk trash. Yeah, at least he should have been. He, 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 he can get a little sassy and go like a little Tito Trinidad or something. Little Hector Camacho. Talk, talk a little bit. Talk. Not everybody can just stay shut like Manny Pacquiao and be humble and collect them checks. You got a country behind them. Um, but yeah, I think Ugas and Buck Crawford will be a good fight. It'll be a very competitive fight. He just ain't going to, uh, uh, Buck Crawford is just not going to walk all over Ugas. It's not. If Sean Porter couldn't do it, Buck Crawford is not, is not going to do it. Now, I'm not going to say he's going to beat him in the technical side. He could beat him on the outside. He could switch up and things of that nature. I'm going to say, like, Ugas is, is, is a very seasoned fighter. He's probably the most seasoned fighter in the welterweight division. Probably the most dedicated fighter in PBC at the welterweight division. And if you ask me who will win that fight, I say for the first time, well, in a long time, that Book Crawford is going to be meeting somebody in the ring that just ain't going to lay down. That's going to be a 60-40 fight in a lot of people's eyes. And I wouldn't be shocked if Ugas beats Buck Crawford. That's the, that's the beauty of the, of the welterweight division. That you may think, oh, this person will beat, but you wouldn't be shocked if they lose. You may think that Buck Crawford is going to win. I think Buck Crawford will beat Ugas, but I wouldn't be shocked if Ugas wins. And it goes and it, and it goes with all the matchups at the top of the, uh, the welterweight chain. Earl Spence and Dennis Wilkins Garcia. Will you be shocked if Dennis Wilkins Garcia beats Earl Spence? No. A rematch um, um, Porter and Thurman. Will you be shocked if both of them beat each other? One, uh, if Thurman wins again or Porter beats Thurman? Will you be shocked if, in a rematch with Thurman and Pacquiao if Thurman beats Pac? Or 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 Pac goes in a ring with, with, with Earl Spence? Or would you, would you be shocked either, either way? Nah. That's the beauty of this welterweight division. But the notion that Manny Pacquiao needs, you know, man. Manny Pacquiao got a cemented legacy. He don't need nobody no more, man. He's doing y'all favor, to be honest. Now he got a belt, but he's doing y'all favor. You don't need to be here. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about Bobby and his comments. Let me know what y'all think about the fight with Ugas and Crawford. I think that's a really, really great fight. And I think Book Crawford, more than anything, he needs. He needs a Ugas more than Manny Pacquiao needs anything. But Crawford is the one that needs because his prime years is running out. And like I said, he ain't going to be no top two pound for pound on my list. Top three on my pound for pound. I'm sorry. We got Ugas Casimero. We got Vasil Lomachenko versus Teofimo Lopez. It's gonna be, it's gonna be, dudes is making moves. He's making moves. So, I don't know. It's time for Buck Crawford to get that fight. And it's time for Bob Arum to hustle that fight. He wants that many Pacquiao now. Why you ain't do it before, Bob? What happened to all those excuses? 
Oh, now Manny Pacquiao, now you want that. Huh? How about you get Jeff Horn? How about I get a little rematch for Book, Book Crawford? <laughs> anyway, this is Pudge Your Box, man. I love y'all. Peace out. Let me know. Leave your comment at the bottom. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. You get my updated videos. Yo, like it, share it. Like it, share it. Helps out the channel. Love y'all. Peace out. And on to the next.